put that in the video. Hey, how you do, buckaroos? I am Dunnaby Whisperer. Who else would I be? Nobody else wants to be me. I guarantee you that. So I'm with here. I'm, <laughs> I'm here with Tom. I'm here with Tom. Cheers. The drinker. So Tom <laughs> brought me this beer from uh, Illinois. A Noon Whistle is the brewing company. Um, Gummy Apocalypse Northeast India Pale Ale, 8.2%. Um, Say anything else about it? it? Says drink by six twenty five, so we're 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 within that realm. So this is uh, meant to be kind of a New England style IPA, oh, yeah. an imperial version of, I guess, it's... in the vein of say a heady topper. I'm guessing. Oh yeah. Well, no, oh was... well, that's kind of a. No. So I get. Oh, I'm getting a lot of. Uh, well, I get a combination of, of apricot, uh, orange zest, grapefruit zest. Right, yeah, you're typical. But I'm feeling the apricot in there, too. Yeah. I, I, oh, I yeah. expect to feel that orange, but the apricot kind of took me by surprise. What did you taste, though? It's super fruity. There we go. Super <laughs> fruity! <laughs> no, we're not in a gay bar. Yeah. Oh, don't send me hate mail. You knew that was funny. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Let's See, but my problem is, is I, of course, I do all these videos unscripted. Yeah. And, and I have no filter anyway, so I even, I never know what I'm, I'm going to say. People. So so people will send me messages saying, well, you said this, or I can't believe you said that. Yeah. So then I have to go back and rewatch the video because I have no recollection of what I said at that time. I, I definitely do the same thing. <laughs> well, I don't know what well, I said. So oh, bad. Yeah. <laughs> hey, okay. here's what I look at it. Oh my God! So uh, wow, that is incredible. Yeah. So yes. uh, gosh, that's amazing. Uh, the so taste is wonderful. Uh, a whole lot of orange, right? Yes. But I also feel like I'm getting some sweetness in there, uh, oh. like a like a, a honey like sweetness. Yes, honey. There's all kinds of fruits up in there. I'm feeling some grapefruit. But I'm also feeling herbal notes. I feel like I'm getting these uh, very light pine or juniper like notes. Yes. Right? Yeah, pine definitely. It's for a hazy IPA, I was really surprised. Are you Look, feeling pineapple in there? I feel yes, like I pineapple. Just some pineapple. Yeah. I was really amazed. I bought this on a whim. <laughs> good Lord. Uh, this is fantastic. It, it may be one of the very best of this style I've ever had. It's good. And, it, and it's very clean. The finish is very clean. Yes. Very clean and dry. <laughs> I digress. Yeah, I was out yeah. New England. Pretty dry, <laughs> usually on the finish. So that's pretty good. So anyway, thanks, Tom, for bringing me this beer. Oh, I just welcome. wanted to share it with you while you were here. I'm getting Tom kind of toasted. <laughs> yeah. We started with a, we started with a, a Saddlebach. Uh, what are days? A 10%-ish. Uh, uh, Imperial Porter. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had a... You didn't see that, honey. <laughs> <laughs> And then, this isn't live, so that's what you know. You, you can steer away from this video. <laughs> then, then I went to a, a Casey Beer called Pilsner as a palate cleanser. And then we had a zombie dust. Man, that zombie yes. dust was freaking amazing, That's a man. classic in my mind. It's we didn't do a video for, a for the zombie now. dust while we were just talking, but uh, we wanted I wanted to do a video for this one because I hadn't had it before. So uh, it's uh, the beer is absolutely brilliant. So anyway, thanks, Tom. I am Tony Whisper, beer fabulous, polluting beer drinker, purveyor wisdom man all around. Good guy. Have a good one.